Hi guys and welcome back to another one of my tutorials. I am here, Kiara's Hooks, and I'm here to show you guys how to kind of make this fluffier, thicker balaclava. I'm just doing the basics, but I also already made a tutorial video on how to make bunny ears for your balaclava, so you can always just revisit that tutorial in order to see how it is done, and then you can add it and put it onto this balaclava. I have two options of crochet hooks for this one. So I have the 7.0 millimeter crochet hook and I have my 8.0 millimeter crochet hook. And the reason why I pulled both of these is because I want to make sure the hook that I choose fits best with the yarn. To my experience, if I chose a crochet hook that was a little bit bigger than the yarn, kind of like how this eight is a little bit big, my stitches would be a bit wider and looser and I would see through them more. So I'm just going to probably use my 7.0 hook. I just feel like the yarn sits on this more in i'll put the all the information of how much this was how many yards it was and everything like that what we're going to start off by doing is grabbing your yarn and pulling some off our loop the same way that we started our other balaclavas from my tutorial and i'm going to put my crochet here hook here so that i can start chaining out so this yarn is a bit thicker, so I'm not sure how many chains I need to do, but all we need to know is that it fits over our neck, which it should, but that it also fits over our head without having to stretch it. Because if we stretch it, then it's going to be like we have to stretch it in order to put it on our head but we kind of want it to be a little seamless and go on our head really nice and since this is thicker yarn i think we'll start off by doing 30 okay so i'm going to start chaining 30. so one two you want to make them fairly loose three four five if you need to make it loose pull at this point to bring it up forward five six seven eight nine ten and thirty so i have just completed my 30 chains and i'm just going to check how this fits around my head so for me in this yarn i think i need about 20 more chains because this really fits ear to ear if i'm measuring it from the back so I'm gonna need to probably do 20 more. So one, two, perfect. So I know that this fits perfectly around my head. Probably wanna count this so that it makes it easier for the next time if you make a second one. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, five, 46, 47. So I have about 47 chains and this fits really comfortably around my head and definitely will fit around my neck. So now I'm ready to start my balaclava. So I start my balaclavas just like always. There is the braid side, as you can see, and then there's the more like bumpy, hilly side. We're gonna be using the visible braid side. So what you have to make sure that you do is make sure that the braid side is facing out all around, okay? Just like so. And you're going to take the end and you're going to put the crochet hook at the bottom of the two. So there's two there should be two pieces here to the yarn and you're going only with the one underneath your crochet hook. You're wrapping the yarn around your crochet hook and you're gonna pull that all through, just like so. So now you only have one loop on your crochet hook and the braid side is always facing the outside and then you shouldn't run into any tangles or anything like that. But I'm just gonna do my regular stitch, which is the double crochet stitch. So I'm wrapping my crochet hook I'm going under the loops. I'm grabbing that yarn back. So now I have three loops on my crochet hook. I'm wrapping that yarn. I'm pulling through two of those loops. Then I only have two loops on my crochet hook. I'm wrapping around and I'm pulling through those two. Okay, and now we have one. 
So now that one, the first stitch is done, and then I just repeat it all along and do the same thing. So I'm going to go into the next area, grab the yarn, pull it forward, wrap around, pull through two, wrap around, pull through two. And you can see how that is heading for us. So I'm just going to continue going just like so into the next chain, bring that yarn forward, wrap around, pull two, wrap around, pull two. And we're going into the next chain and completing it. So I will see you guys back right once I am done this first row. And once you are completed your first row, we'll meet back and continue on. Okay? Okay, guys. So just be careful once you are getting to your end because it does kind of look twisty right now. But we know that we want the braid side facing out. So that means that I'm just going to twist this and continue on this way. Because if I let it, it's kind of twisting and then that's going to like change the outcome for the next row. So we're just going to go all the way to the end of this first row with the chains of the braids facing towards us. So you see that we are almost done. We have like one more to do. So I'm just going to wrap my crochet hook around and I'm going to go into that last stitch right there. You're going to definitely have to like feel around because it's kind of hard to see what's sometimes there, what's going on with this more fluffier yarn, but just make sure that you're always going to the full row. You want to be as close as you were to the beginning of your point, which this is like the closest. And as you can see, I've completed my first row. So what I'm going to be doing is you have to take your crochet hook and you have to go because at the top there are these like chains, right? So what you're going to do, you're going to slip through that chain right there or the top of that stitch you're going to wrap your crochet hook and you're going to just pull through two and that's going to just close it off for us so that we have like a seamless back start and then now we can begin and do however many rows we want to do till we have our opening of our face of our balaclava so Due to the yarn that I have, I think I'm going to do about four more rows. So definitely you can choose if you want to do six more extra rows, three more extra rows, however long you want the bottom of your ball cover to be. See when you have just this one loop on your crochet hook, you can always just wrap the yarn around and pull through and that's going to make it a bit easier and higher for you if you're doing my stitch which is the double crochet stitch if you're doing that one it just helps to make it uh, go back into the stitch more easily okay so just complete your rows however many you want keep trying well you could try it on to make sure that the first row fits but it already should because we measured that on our head but yeah just continue to go around however many you want and i'll see you guys back later so this is one two three four five rows i did a few more i think it'll look nicer if it's a bit more deeper i want to go longer but i definitely just want to show you guys also how to just complete this because you can always customize it your own way i just also wanted to show you how much yarn i have left so i would definitely recommend either getting another ball just so that you will have enough so that you can really explore and do this design and this pattern how you want if we flip it around to the front i'm just going to pull this so that it doesn't come out i'm going to flip this to the front and i'm going to kind of line the back so that it's in the front there we go and now i'm going to have to create an opening for my eyes so my last balaclava video, I know that it was 16 stitches, was what I did to open up my eyes, and I honestly could have just made it to 17. However, for this one, you can measure it onto your face and see how wide it will probably need to go. So for me, a comfortable width would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, right, so 17, 18. I'm just going to use some yarn to tie it up to show where I need to stop and continue. So we're just going to tie it up there, 18, yeah, and then here, I'm going to put that loop and tie it up. 
Gotcha. So now I have my markers there and that's really going to help me with where to stop and go. So the first marker that we're going to hit is this white one. So we're going to turn this balaclava over again so that we're facing the back. I'm just going to pull that string back that I use so that it wouldn't come out. I'm going to put my crochet hook back there. Okay, and what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be going all the way till I hit this one marker. And then I'm going to head all the way back and go all the way till we hit this marker. And then go all the way back and just continue doing that, okay, until we have a good size opening. So you just want to make sure that your crochet hook is not entangled here with your yarn. want to make sure that it's on the crochet hook properly. And what we're going to do, we don't want to do our regular stitch here. We don't want to do the double crochet stitch here because it's going to elevate the row too high. And when I head back, there's going to be a huge slant in the back of the balaclava. So what I do is I do a stitch that kind of doesn't show much of an increase in the row. So that stitch goes like this. I'm going to put it through. I'm going to grab that yarn forward, I'm going to wrap around, and I'm going to pull through two, okay? So I'm just going to continue doing this around till we hit our first marker. And this, you can tell, if we look, is like one third of what this, our regular stitch creates, which is perfect. So we're just kind of doing that until we finish up. And once we get to that marker, we're just going to like literally turn our work around and head backwards. So we're almost there. One and two. Okay, so now this is the outside of our balaclava, but we got to turn it around now and we got to face the inside. So you can see that's where we just ended and that is the marker. So what's going to happen at this point, we're going to need to wrap the yarn around our hook and pull through one. That's just to make it higher because now we're going back and we're doing our full stitch. As you can see, the stitch that we did, it barely like increased it, right? So it doesn't even look like we technically did a row. So now we're going to go with our regular stitch and go back into the first one and do exactly what we did for the bottom of our balaclava. So you're going to go back to your choice of stitch. And you're just going to continue doing this all the way. Okay, so I'm going to continue doing this stitch all the way around until we hit our second marker. Once we hit our marker, we have officially made an opening for our eyes okay so i'll see you guys back once i've hit this orange marker and once we're both there i'll come back and show you guys the next steps okay so now i have made it to the orange marker and the front of my balaclava now has an opening i won't be needing my markers anymore so i'm going to take them out and save them for another project where i'm going to need a marker after this point is I usually keep one to two rows open for the balaclava eyes. If you do three, it's going to cause a really big opening and you're going to show a lot of forehead. But if you just want to show the eyes, this is a great length. And where we just ended off with our orange marker, I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook and I'm going to pull through one. And what's going to happen, I'm literally just going to head all the way back until we hit here. And then that we're going to close it off because that'll be enough for our eyes. So I'm just going to wrap this around my crochet hook. I'm going to go back into my stitch. Just like how we had when we got here. And that's what I'm going to be doing till I get all the way around. Now before I close this off, you should definitely try it on before we officially, officially close it off. Okay, so just finish off this row and I'll meet you guys back once we're done this row. Alright guys, so I have completed that second row for my opening and I know that it fits well because I had tried it on and I know that my eyes have 
a lot of space here. The next steps are to close this off. And to close this off by attaching this side with this side, you just have to do as many chains as there are here. So we know that there are 18 stitches. So from this row here, I'm going to be doing 18 chains. One, two, 17. 18 okay so now i have my 18 chains and this will fit and close off perfectly so how to close it off i'm going to grab my other side i'm going to put my crochet hook through those two top loops there right those two top loops i'm going to wrap my yarn around and i'm going to pull through all of those loops until one is out on the other side and now what's going to happen is we have to either we have to do one row around and after that one row around we have to try it on because we want to know when is the good time for us to start doing the other steps which are decreasing so that we can close off the top of our balaclava so just once you're at this point you're going to go into your next stitch okay and you're going to do your regular stitch that you chose you're just going to go at the top of those stitches, okay? All the way around. Okay, so I'll meet you guys back right when we're here. All right, so I have completed that row and now I am back at that point where I wanted to do this with you guys. It is very similar to how we started the first few chains at the bottom. So I'm just going to show you guys what to do. So if you remember, we're going to want to make the braid side facing us. Okay, gets a little tangled at the end there, but make sure the braid side is facing us because that's going to help us have a nice clean top area and what you're going to do you're just going to do how we did it you're going to go into under those two loops grab your so now i'm going over and i'm going into my next stitch okay just like so and then i'm going to continue over on this row okay just like so And so it's a little hard to maneuver on this, but just use your fingers to tell where you gotta go in and try to keep it as straight. And it's looking so nice, isn't it? So then you're just gonna continue going. It is from this point, we're going to go in through the side of that hat, okay? Gonna grab that yarn, bring it forward, and just pull through one. Okay, that's just to close it off. So now you see that you have this part of the balaclava completed, and now you have to try it on to see how many more rows you're gonna have to go up. It could be one, it could be two, because this is very thicker yarn, and then we have to close the balaclava. So I'm gonna try mine on and show you guys and see what it looks like. I'm gonna try it on. okay so i literally have to do like for myself one more extra row on top and then i can start closing this balaclava one more yeah so one more and i should be able to close start closing this balaclava or you might have to do just one as me so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do one regular row just like how i did here and then i'll meet you guys back once i get to this point again okay so I'm just going to do another row and I'll meet you guys back. So now that I am here, this should be well enough for me to now start to close off my balaclava. But as I mentioned, uh, just make sure this fits you right. It should fit at least to the top a little bit past your hairline so that, that you know, okay, you can start closing off for your hair. So how I close off the balaclavas in previous videos is I do two stitches and then I do a decrease. So I'm gonna wrap my yarn around, I'm gonna pull through. Okay, I'm facing the side of my balaclava. Okay, I'm just facing the side. Okay, and I'm going to wrap my crochet hook around. I'm gonna go into the stitch, just like we're doing another row so one right one into the next one two 
and then I'm going to do a decrease. So I'm skipping one stitch and I'm jumping to this one. Wrap around my yarn, wrap around, pull two. Okay, and then I do my regular stitch, which is one and two. And then I'm going to do my decrease. So I'm going to skip one and go to the next and pull through two. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys one more time. I'm going to go into my two stitches, one and two. And then I'm going to skip one and go to this one. So I'm going to go into that loop, grab the yarn, bring it forward, wrap the yarn around my crochet hook and pull through two. And then I'm going to go back to doing two stitches. So once you have completed that all the way around, you're even going to do it now on the front. Okay, so you're going to do two stitches, a decrease, two stitches, a decrease, two stitches, two stitches a decrease and once you have done that and completed going we'll meet back when you have like about this size circle on the top of your balaclava okay because then we're just going to close it so keep doing two stitches and a decrease and once you're about this much of a circle i will will come back and we'll close and i'll show you guys how to close it okay so have fun we're almost done at this wonderful balaclava and so now the circle is about yay big, like I mentioned before, but I'm just going to keep going a little bit more until it gets a bit smaller. So one, two, and a decrease. And now it, if you keep going too many times by doing the decreases, it's going to make like this cone effect and we don't really want a cone effect. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a few decreases more. So I'm just going to decrease on its own and do another decrease and one more okay and now my circle is more closed off okay so what I'm gonna do at this point is so after I've done those decreases I'm gonna do one more right here okay and now that's super closed off and now what I'm gonna be go doing is going diagonally across from where I'm at so I'm here I'm going to go like right across there. I'm going to wrap around my yarn and I'm going to pull through. And then I'm, I'm at this point, I'm going to go diagonally, diagonally across from here to there. Wrap them around my yarn and I'm going to pull through too. Okay? And then you're just going to keep going until your circle is fully closed at the top. So I'm at this angle. I'm going to go here, wrap around my yarn, and I'm going to pull through just like so. And then I'm at this point and I see like there's a little hole right there. I'm going to go right there. I'm going to wrap around. And there we have it. So now my balaclava is fully closed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just wrap my the yarn around my crochet hook. I'm going to pull through. I'm going to grab my scissors. I'm going to grab my handy dandy scissors. And I'm just going to cut that off right there. <laughs> This is how much yarn I had left, okay? Which I could totally use for another project or even add a string to this one. So I'm going to pull that through, okay? And then I'm going to go from the inside of the balaclava and I'm going to feed my crochet hook about where this string is. So about right here. Just got to feel it through wrap around that yarn and I'm going to bring it inside my balaclava so that I can tie it off without it showing from the outside. So I'm just going to grab some yarn, pull that through, wrap around, okay, like that. And then I'm just going to tie a knot like so. And then I'm going to grab my scissors and I'm just going to cut that off. And there we have it. There is the balaclava that is fluffy and thick and you can check out my bunny ear balaclava for other videos and yeah so let me try it on so you guys can see the vibe. Okay let me try it on. Fire. Is 
actually too cute. Like it's just too cute. I don't, I want to keep this one. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you guys who requested it. It was nice to make this balaclava. This was my first try. So definitely maybe in the future I'll have some like tips and tricks on how to change it. I know for one thing, if you don't want so much eye space and you just want one eye space, a hack is to only do one row here, not two, because doing more and more can definitely just make this space bigger and bigger so yeah if you just want it more tight like this much instead of like this of what i have just do one of these rows for the opening but yeah 